What's going on everybody? So today, I know it's, I haven't done a tutorial in so long, but I did want to show you guys how I actually set up all my stuff, man, from start to finish, literally from lighting to my instruments to the mics. It'll be kind of intense, it's kind of late. I got home kind of late to be able to record something for you guys for tutorial Thursdays, but you gotta love it. Gotta make these videos, man. Gotta make these videos, but yeah, let's get this thing started. So the first thing that I do is I actually set up my tripod and I normally set up the camera already but I'm actually using my main camera. But yeah, I set up my tripod and I try to center it to the whole setup that I have or the backdrop that I have for my YouTube video. So yeah, it normally goes like that. And if you see here, I always try to get it like to the center of that. Uh, so if this isn't centered, then you know, I have to end up changing it and doing all the moves and getting all that craziness, but yeah. Now the next thing that I do is actually set up my lighting. I set up my lighting set to make it, you know, where I normally get the nice angles for the lights. Then I turn off these lights. But yeah, let me uh, show you how that look kind of looks like. Now at this point is where I will normally set up my instruments so then I can start working on where the mic placement's going to be. So from this point, I kind of already know where my tripod is, where my frame is going to be set, where the lighting is mainly going to be. So now I'm gonna be able to set up my congas where I need to have them so then I can figure out where I'm gonna place the mics. Kind of crazy, but yeah, something like that. Now this next part isn't really fun, but it's me just running cables, making sure the mics are nice and well placed. It's not really the most recommended way to kind of like use mic placement, but because I'm in a controlled room, I could kind of play with it. But yeah, I haven't really showed you guys, but yeah, I'll show you guys this. these sometimes laying around if I'm not actually recording or if we're gonna have guests over I actually take everything down so I'll put these to the side and then take them out when it's time to record and then this is what I kind of do so what I end up doing is I actually just put them right in front of me out of the frame and I kind of put it like around the set to help absorb the sound that I am um, getting in this room. Uh, you can see it's somewhere up there, somewhere over there, got some here on the sides, and then some right here. But you know, it just really helps kind of absorb a little bit of the highs from the drums. And then I got these behind me. A lot of people think they're just aesthetics, but they're actually um, four inch thick panels. Um, that I have really kind of helping out with dampening the low ends, um, you know, keeping my neighbors somewhat 
still loving me or something but yeah you know this uh, kind of helps you guys don't get to see this kind of behind the scenes but it really helps with the sound again because it's in controlled space and yes for the majority of my videos the distance it is from the congas is normally that far you know it's both mics are like that so literally you have that's about maybe three feet uh, of distance i wouldn't ever recommend this for like an actual recording directional is the best way um or there's other formats and other ways to actually record but i wouldn't ever recommend this if it's an actual professional gig that far of a distance man you're gonna get so much noise so much things in post but again because i'm in a controlled space i could kind of get away with it it's again i'm just doing it for the videos um, you really can't see the mics and just kind of kind of makes it look a lot better without you know the mics in the way now for the other camera setups i normally use a gopro hero 4 for the overhead and my previous camera which is a canon t6i for just a second angle and i normally use my sigma 17 to 50 2.8 lens for that shot sometimes i'll go with let me see here sometimes sometimes i'll go with this one which is a 50 millimeter 1.8 really looks nice but you got to be kind of far setting up the camera kind of far but if you're a videographer or photographer that lens it's like a must any 50 millimeter is like a blessing but yeah normally these are my cameras these are the two that i normally use just to get the playing shots and I'll set them up for you right now. Yeah, that was kind of fun. So the next part is actually probably one of the most important parts, which is setting up the sound recording. So all the audio I recorded on Logic Pro X on the computer, and I have a template already set with kind of like the EQs I normally use, and so it doesn't have to be much work all the time. But sometimes I tweak it here and there, but I don't really do much touching. Normally what you hear, is what you hear so yeah you gotta love that uh, so I go to my computer and I open up logic pro X then I set up from a new template but a new from template sorry because I already have some templates and I have either YouTube 3 or YouTube setup you normally YouTube 3 is when I do more than two mics and right there I have my normal setup kind of how I like it Make sure that both of them say R on it. If not, I am short. And that means I will only record just one of the inputs. But yeah, I already have everything kind of already set up here. So I just make sure that I'm there. And then I always make sure I hit record when it's needed. Because if not, oh, you guys do not know how many times I have hit, or thinking that I hit record and I recorded a whole video. And yeah, I didn't record anything. But you gotta love it now there's one last step and then i get to record and that's basically setting up this mic which is my rode video mic pro plus onto a stand and then making sure everything is out of frame so making sure that the gopro is out of frame making sure that all the mics are out of frame and then i make sure that i'm in frame that i'm centered to the background and that's basically it and it's kind of crazy man just doing all this for a couple videos that's why i like the fact that i could leave this here now but you know it being the holidays i take this stuff down because we get a bunch of guests and don't want them to uh 
touch my stuff and break some stuff and yeah you don't you don't want none of that so but yeah let me show you just the last piece and then uh, kind of like the final product you gotta love it So there you go. I have my mic set up. You can't even see it. I have my gongas all in the frame. You can see the gongas. You can see me. I'm kind of in the middle. If I kind of move over here a little bit, I would be more in the middle. You know, sometimes I play with it. Sometimes, you know, it gets kind of crazy. But if you notice, something's very different. Something's missing. It's like it's not what I normally use to set up. There's like something normally lit in the background. And basically what I did is I put RGB lights behind the panels. I kind of separated the wall maybe by like two inches from the wall to the panel so they're kind of hanging. So yeah, I, uh, you yeah. know, yeah. Decided to use blue today. Depends on the vibe, depends on the video, depends on what I'm feeling like. You know, I could change the colors through an app and make it whatever I want, combinations, whatever. You know, it's kind of nice that I can not just play and it sound well and it sound kind of controlled in this area knowing that the mics are literally, they're like right there. It's kind of far, you can't really see it. Man, hold on, let me let me grab my phone so I could show you guys what I'm looking at, just so you could see the perspective from where I'm at. Give me one second. All right, so uh, let me move right here. You see, I'm here in front of my phone, guys. I'm sitting down right there. There you go. I'm looking at you. This is the lights. Got my mic, got the GoPro, and got the camera. Normally, I have the flip screen pointing towards me. But you know, I'm not recording anything right now, and normally I'm able to see if the light is on if it's recording. But again, I'm not recording anything right now. But I'm able to see my frame, I'm able to see everything. And like I said, look how kind of far the mics are. But again, it's a controlled environment. I'm able to literally do everything from right here. I'm able to just work with it all and kind of focus on recording without worrying about the sound and at the same time from this angle boom I could see my computer obviously it's not on but I could see if I have something going on right there yes that is my son's Christmas tree he likes a little baby Christmas tree I don't know why but yeah um, I could see if I'm recording I could see uh, where I'm at um, I have everything kind of there if I need some tools I have some stuff there and yeah the, anything i need i have it right here and um, this is what it takes to really just do these videos and take it to another level i know i started just doing some videos just using a gopro on my phone and little by little i started to kind of invest time and equipment to do these videos and to kind of furthermore not just the learning experience but the visual and audio experience while you're learning and that's kind of the hard part i really didn't want to do audio but people said hey you need to work on your audio so i decided to work on my audio i really didn't care about visuals and lighting but guess what people were having trouble seeing what I was doing so that's what happens and they're saying hey I need some more angles I need an overhead so guess what I started investing in myself into doing these videos and I've learned that if you don't invest in yourself no one will invest in you so I do this not because I want to show off all the gear that I have but really just so you guys can see in detail how much it takes for me just to produce these videos week by week and Sometimes it's hard when I do have to like take down this stuff because I am, even though I have this half this room, you know, I do share this room with, you know, the family and when I do have family over, I do like to entertain, you know, if anybody knows me personally, I'm a family guy and I uh, 
you know, if, if you guys ever in town say, hey Eric, I'm in town, can we hang? And I'm available, yeah, you're, you're coming over. You're coming over and we're, we're doing something. Yeah, is it? I'm just that kind of person. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I know it was kind of different and I know it's not a tutorial Thursday. I know I haven't shown you guys anything in a while. I've been super, super, super busy. Busy is good. Busy is good. Busy is good. But at the same time, I feel bad for not being able to just sit down and show you guys some stuff. And uh, you know, it's holiday season and I just like to spend some time with my family whenever I do have free time. But I am preparing to record a couple of videos and have those out hopefully by next week. And just some other stuff that I have some ideas. And yeah, I mean, I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you. Thank you for always watching these videos, all you day ones and new subscribers and everything, man. I seriously appreciate all the love and the continued support from all of you, man. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. We're gonna keep this ball rolling. But yeah, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this whole thing took about an hour and a half to do to set everything up and then to stop and record. An hour and a half, it's unbelievable. I can't believe I did this almost every video before, man. It's crazy, man, this is crazy. An hour and a half to set all this up. I know it's overkill, I know it's extreme, but man, I just looked at the time. It's like, man, this is late, this is late. I gotta edit this video. Maybe I'll show you guys how I do that. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be for another video. All right, y'all, peace.